Good afternoon to all of my absolutely wonderful love bugs. My name is Malik Davis and I would like to thank all of my loves for taking time to stop in at 40 Pieces of Me. Well, after Scholar's baby sprinkle, I've needed probably about a week to recuperate and get everything back in order. But that's coming along, getting all of that, those things uh, put up. But today I am here to do a collab um, with a company called Banggood. Banggood uh, actually reached out to me and offered me some of their absolutely wonderful products. This right here, at first look, you may be thinking like, what is this? Um, nothing important. Well, I think it's going to do something absolutely great. This is a laser projector. Um, so what I am going to do, I am making something for Scholar's uh, big brother for his room. I'm going to make something for Blake's room. Uh, so I've already started the process, uh, but I think this is going to be great. We actually use this at the baby um, at the baby sprinkle and we didn't get a chance to magnify it like we wanted to but it was behind the wooden teddy bear uh, but as you can see it lets off like different things um with the light it goes to different places so it has like this little screen over it or you can just do something different. So I'm gonna play around with it today and see what we can do and how good this project truly is. What you're gonna need is five, we're gonna make glass boxes. You're gonna need five picture frames. I have the four by six picture frames. I didn't want them to be extremely large. I've already taken the glass out of these. Um, we'll actually do this particular one together but I've taken the glass out. You're gonna need foam. I use foam instead of using a stencil. I use foam sports um, decals, like a football, it's a baseball bat in there, a baseball, basketball, soccer ball. I use those. I got those out of Walmart and I've already taken uh, and put them on the actual glass from the front frames. So I did four of those like that. And when we use them, we're going to let the painted side go in the inside. I put them on there and then I sprayed white paint on them. So I'm going to get right down to that part and show you how we're going to do that. I hope everybody is having a wonderful holiday weekend. I was just off this weekend and I actually, I'm going to end up going back in the office uh, tomorrow. So we still have to work on Monday. So basically what we're gonna do, and on this one, I said that I was gonna use lots of football helmets if possible, um, because I wanted it to, this would be on the top of the room. So when the light is off, it'll go all around the room. So we'll go ahead and get started on this. And just basically um, putting these down. This is really a simple project. That's why I went ahead and did the others so we wouldn't have to wait for anything to dry. He's been trying to get over here. He acted as if he wanted to come spend some time with me, but he really didn't want to spend any time with me. He then told them he was going to get his um box and his light and he was going to be out. Now he's six and that's what he told them. So uh, I took my time about making it. Wasn't going to let that little kid use me. Teaching him how it's supposed to be done. Just trying to get over. So I'm going to put this one to the side. You'll need your glue stick, your glue gun. You'll need, um, you're going to use some E6000. Since it's going to be dealing with the kid, I don't know what this kid is going to do when anybody's not around. But I've really, really already been telling him this is not for him to ever pick up. His mom is supposed to pick it up and, and cut it on for him. But dealing with this little boy, we just have to see how this is going to work.
So once I do this, I am going to take it outside and I'm going to spray it. So on this one, we're just using mostly baseball bats and um, helmets on this one. Use a football. And I'll use a baseball. So I'll go ahead and finish putting these on. I'm going to step outside. All you're going to do on this same side up, we're just going to spray it with white spray paint. You can use any color that you decide that you that's going to work best for you. Um, I just decided to use the white. I wasn't trying to run out and get any more spray paint. So that's how I came up with white because we know I'm all sprayed out after Skylar's baby sprinkle. So I'm going to use the remaining of the bats. I'll go ahead and finish putting these down and I will spray, spray this. And when I spray it, it's going to come out as I showed you before. It's going to come out looking like this. And we're going to use this side now so everything will be smooth. I'll get the glass cleaner and clean it. Okay, so I will spray and then we will start to join our, our frames together. Okay, so we know we've did this before with the, we did this before uh, with the glass boxes, but this is a different frame. So we have to hope and pray that this is going to work out just the same. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use E6000 first. And then I'll come back with the, I'll come back with the actual glue, um, glue gun to make this work. So we did this first. And what I also know that I need to do from experience is I'm going to need to go ahead and put these in so that we won't have a mess. Because trying to get these in afterwards, it just does not work that easy. So we're gonna go ahead and do this first. And we can always go back in and clean it. But we just want to make sure that we don't have any problems. And with that, even with that E6000 glue being on there, it can sit for a couple of minutes because we know it's not like. And make sure that the smooth side that you didn't spray paint is on the outside. Because you want everything to look polished. Does it make a difference how you put them in, meaning whether they're which way they're going? Because it's just the fun of it being on the child's wall. So basically, what we're making is a projector box. So, and I didn't have too much going on this weekend. I was going to go somewhere yesterday and I decided not to. I just want to chill in the house. So, that's how these turn out when they're in the actual frame. So, now that we have that that way, I'm just going to put a little paper up under here since we're not going to be using these just so i don't have a mess and today we're gonna make life simple as possible and we're just gonna put go down with the glue and 
and we know how I tend to like to play with the glue and think I can be super with it. I'm going to stop that one day. And you know you'll have to hold it for a while and this gives you an opportunity to move it so it'll be actually on the corner. We're not going to bling this out or anything because it's for a little boy. So, and I have some blue bling that I possibly could use, but we'll just see. So you're going to end up holding this for a minute just to make sure that it's together. And we could have taped it. Um, so I basically just decided to like speed that the video and went up, back in um, with the glue. Because we know we'll see. if we did one side, we know how the other ones were going to do. But I still wanted you to be able uh, to get the full uh, concept of how we were actually doing uh, the project. So by using the E6000 and then using the glue gun, uh, the glue gun, as I stated before, it'll give it a qu quick stick. Of course, it looks like it's going to be unlevel and uneven. So when you actually put the last uh, frame on top, then you will be able um, to sort of move the two that seems uneven around. So it'll all work out in the end. So repeating the same thing. And you see basically I just pulled it back out. And I'm going to end up having to go back and put more glue around it just to make sure that everything is stable. And just going through and reinforcing it with the hot glue gun because you won't be able to see down in it because we're going to add almost like what's per se a roof on the top. So now I'm just removing uh, the actual foams off of the glass uh, these foams came out really really almost perfect what you can do if you have some paint that seeps in the same thing that i've advised before with a q-tip or even you can wrap uh, a paper towel around the end of a um, toothpick and you can actually go through and get it off but i just blotted it some to make sure that it wasn't any excess paint So it's almost like a little house. Nothing fancy. Something that, I mean, you can do it for yourself or you can do it for a child. I've seen a couple of things online that I may try uh, with this type of solar light. So I'm really impressed with the large amount of things that you can do with it to make this all work out. Yeah, for a minute there, I forgot how I had it stuck on there. You know, my friends in my head start talking and things just get a little different. So I did decide to, you know, put the actual um, beads, the silver beads, some that I had left from Skylar's Baby Sprinkle. Because it didn't look very feminine, but it just almost looked like a house just to cover up that actual glue. I didn't want any glue residue showing.
So I dropped the light because I wanted you to be able to see this in the light. Of course, it's not dark enough for you to see the reflections. So I'm actually, the images on the ceilings and the walls, I'm actually going to take it into the bathroom and do it. But I also know is be creative with this particular project. I really, really like this little light. When you see see it in the bathroom you're going to see it makes a big difference i got i had like this stencil that i had got out of uh walmart excuse me walmart for something so you can use any type of stencil what would be even cuter is for a nursery i know with blake and one of my other kids um with blake the g baby and one of my kids because i think that the projectors that you do the images on the wall had come out at that time as well but what would be cuter than like this little monkey and you just do one image of the monkey all over or you did an image of the monkey on this particular side or elephant, whatever it is that you're trying to do for a baby's nursery and that one thing just shined on the wall. I think that would really, really be nice. So with this particular project, uh, the Star Master um, projector, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I'll give it a thumbs up because I think it's a really cool uh, little light. The only thing I didn't like is that it didn't come with the AC adapter. But I will tell you, if you go on this particular site, everything is dirt cheap. This light was $6.99. If you have an AC adapter, you're not buying batteries too often. So I do give this particular light a thumbs up. And I want to thank... Um, that particular to thank Banggood for even thinking enough of our family uh, to let us try it out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it in the bathroom so you guys can see how it really, really works. So stick with me. And what I'm doing, I am taking this top lens off because I want to see my actual creation. So I'm going to take this lens off. That's the only thing that I'm going to alter with this particular light. Okay, guys, I actually had to cut off the flash because as you can see, when the flash is on, you won't get too much in the bathroom. So we cut off the flash um, just so that you could actually see what's going on. I think it's absolutely gorgeous just with the light flashing in the different uh, shapes. I think that's cute. You can remove the actual uh, film in the inside so that it can do this all over the room. It's just basically about what you like. I hate that it sounds like I'm in a dungeon, but I want you guys to be able to get the full effect. So as you can see, you can see the baseball bat. Um, you can see the helmet. You can even change the colors of the light. So I really and truly would like to thank uh, the Banggood company um, for thinking enough of our channel to let us test out this absolutely wonderful uh, projector light. If this is something that you like, definitely hit the like button, leave comments down below. I'll put all of their um, information down below. I'll actually put a link directly to this light. Kids will love this light. I'm even going to try to create a adult, an adult um, version of this. So definitely stick by. This is something that I'll use again. I'm going to get him an AC adapter and hopefully he will enjoy this. This will get him in the bed and maybe he'll fall asleep to it. Well, my name is Malik Davis. Please hit the subscribe button. Tell other people about our channel and what we're doing here at 40 Pieces of Me. And as always, I thank you guys so much for taking time to stop in. Love you to pieces.